Yes, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Raiden or Slayden. Um, today's going to be a weird one because I woke up and I was like, you know what? I'm really in the mood for KFC. But then I remember the last time I tried to eat KFC was at One Stop Perry Bar. And I just remember it being dry. Let's see if I can put a little clip dry. You know what I mean? Um, so today I was like, you know what? Let's go and get KFC. But I had a look at the map and here in New York on Staten Island, they've only got one KFC, just one, one on the whole island. What kind of rubbish is that? You know what I mean? So um, I'm having to take a bit of a trek out to the far end of the island to go to this one KFC. Now we all know that KFC was invented in America by the Colonel of the Sanders. And um, we know that um, it's meant to be super good here. So I'm gonna go get some KFC, I'm gonna bring it back, I'm gonna try it, and it better not be dry, and I'm gonna rate them or slate them American style. So let's get it. So I've just landed at KFC on Staten Island, the only KFC on Staten Island, which is like mad because I love fried chicken. That's another thing you can't get here, is fried chicken, which is crazy. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, order a few things, like the sandwich, which is so famous, the. Uh, the classic uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken sandwich and and then I'm gonna order like a box meal because I don't do a mighty bucket for one but uh, it'd be interesting for an English guy like me to be trying out some American KFC so I'm gonna grab it I'm gonna bring it back and I'm gonna review it and then I'm gonna rate them or slay them but while you're here it's been a while as it always is every time I do a video so don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel you know so let's go and grab some chicken So, outside KFC just ordered that. Um, you can see the food there. They made me have two meals. Um, the last time I did a KFC review, I was outside as well. But the only difference is I was kicked out. But uh, this time we're gonna go back, we're gonna eat some American KFC, and we're gonna rate or slate them. Boom. Before we do that though, we gotta do the traditional crap check. Ice whites, baby. Ice whites. <laughs> And I have returned. Okay, so I'm trying to sort this light out as you can see here. So give me a second. Honestly, I don't know if this is better lighting or if it's like worse lighting, but I really, really just want to get into the review now. So we're going to look at the food and bear in mind this is American KFC, not even, not even the normal Kentucky Fried Chicken from England. So let's have a look. Right, so as it goes, as it starts, it doesn't look too bad to be honest, like it really doesn't. I mean, it smells good, but I'm gonna tell you one thing for sure, is the skin just looks different. It looks darker, like, I don't know if you guys know this when you eat KFC, but the skin has got that like, I don't know, it doesn't look very greasy either, which was the last problem with the last KFC I went to, it was just too greasy. So, they also give you these, and they call them biscuits. I mean, like, we know what a biscuit is, like a custard cream or something like that. But that's a biscuit. They gave me this heck piece of chicken. Like, it must have been like a midget chicken. And then they gave me this hench piece, <laughs> which must be of like an ostrich or something because that is hench. But we'll see, we'll see. We're gonna have to rate them. And then I've got the famous, which looks fire, um, KFC chicken sandwich burger with jalapeno on it. So, I don't think I'm gonna eat all of it because I'm not that fat, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm big, but I'm not fat. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like take bites of each of it and then, oh, 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 oh. In America, they give you mashed potato as well, which is like wild. Imagine going to KFC and getting mashed potato. You know what I mean? Mashed potatoes. And I got the fries, which have only just been introduced to KFC in America, which is wild. So no more talking. Let's get into it. Let's give them the score. Let's rate or slay them and let's get out of there. So let's go in for some fries. Now bear in mind, the drive was about 15 minutes. So I have to mathematically put into account like why the fry is probably greasy or, for, or, or dry or, but you know, let's, let's just get into it. Okay. You all know my opinion on fries. Nevertheless, you know. Okay. The fries have got, they're very salty, straight away salty, but they're juicy, which is good. I like juicy. Juicy. Uh, <laughs> Um, they're good, they're not bad. Actually, I really like them. For a fry, that ain't bad. If I was gonna give that fry a score out of five, um, I'm gonna give them, you know what, it's a solid 3.9. It's a good fry. A little bit of sauce, you're in there. I can really go banging. Let's push sauce to the side for a minute. Right, this is it. KFC's famous, famous, uh, chicken burger. I mean, it's got pickles, it's got chicken, and it's got like some sort of sauce on the bottom. They, you know, could have added a bit more sauce. But the chicken looks hench, so let's take a bite, see what it's like. You know how we go when we eat chicken doll. Don't do that ever again. All right, let's go. Mmm. Mmm. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely got that KFC taste. Is predominant as the UK? Probably not. Um, but yo, a little bit more sauce, and this could be a tasty, better tasty burger. I'm gonna get it in here. Um, yeah, no, very good, man. I mean, that's what the inside looks like. You can't really see. Um, not bad though, like, I'm just snacking. Um, that's pretty fire to be honest. Um, I got the standard Coke as well. Um, but yeah, score at five for the burger. Wow, it ain't bad, it could use a bit more sauce. A chicken's good. Not as crispy as I thought it would be. It's gonna have to be a 3.8. A 3.8, not bad. Um, all right, sl slowly moving into the mashed potatoes. Give me a second while I get some condiments. KFC Logic will give you mashed potato, but we're not giving you a fork or a knife or a spoon. You just gotta like drink it down, I suppose. You know what I mean? Right, mashed potato with gravy. Now I'm assuming that this is the gravy that they use when they give us the gravy, but we don't get the mashed potato. So let's go for it, man. Like, I mean, I don't want to eat all these and then all the fries and then, you know, it's a lot of carbs. Wow, oh my god. Damn, damn, that is the gravy. That's the gravy with mashed potato. That That's lead, that's so good. Score out of five straight away, 4.6 out of five. That is fire, fire. Um, I'm trying to make these like clips really quickly because I don't want the video to drag on too long. This is Rayton Moslatum, not a movie. You know what I mean, not a movie. Right. Moving straight on quickly to the chicken. I'm gonna go in for the hench piece because I ain't got time to eat little baby chickens and wing. Uh, it's, I suppose it's meant to be a wing, but you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. So, I mean, it's so big. Look at the size of it compared to my hand. Um, this is the first fried chicken that I've had since I've got to America, so it better be good. Straight away, very, very different to what we have back home. Very different. Um, you know KFC's got that taste, that like that unique KFC taste. 
the 11 spices, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, this actually tastes more like chip shop chicken than it does KFC chicken. Maybe it's like the way we do it or the way someone else does it, but um, I would say that's very close to chip shop chicken. I'm trying to compare it to one that I've already done. I mean, like, it's white inside. I mean, it's, it's all good, it's cooked, it's nice, but. What do you like? Hmm, okay. Um, right. Yeah, definitely like chip shop chicken. So I'm gonna say. Uh, I gotta give that a score out of five. That's difficult, man, because it does taste good because it's chip shop chicken, but. I wouldn't say it's KFC level. It's not even that dry as well, it's quite juicy, which is good. So my score out of five for that is gonna be a 4.1. Um, yeah, 4.1, it ain't bad. It's definitely better than the one on one stuff, that's for sure, man. The service inside the store was okay. You know what I mean? Like, there was, fly, there was a fly buzzing around, which kind of annoyed me, but you know what? Like, at the end of the day, like, apparently when flies defecate on your food it's meant to taste better <laughs> no right here we go with the biscuit biscuit you know what i mean um it's just gonna be dough isn't it it's gonna be a thing of dough can i dip it in the mash dry hashtag dry like, i couldn't eat this thing like on its own without any sort of like something going with it dry spot this 0 0.2 out of 5 get out Get out. All right, leads me to it. So, KFC America. Um, what do I give you out of ten? About everything. Um. Whew, uh, what do I do now? It's a difficult one. Okay, so I'm not going to add the scores. I'm just going to give them a solid overall score out of ten. Mashed potato was fire. Fries were really good. Chicken was like chip shop chicken, so I can dig it, you know what I mean? And the burger was good as well. So I'm gonna give them a score out of 10. It's gonna have to be 8.8 out of 10. That's not bad. So KFC on Staten Island, the only one we are rating you guys. Good food, I'd definitely go again. Maybe not anytime soon, but I would go again. Um, and that's my review, guys. British man in America reviewing their famous KFC. So. On that note, guys, I'm going to try and finish up some of this stuff and, you know, get back to just doing what I do during the week. Thank you for viewing the channel. Thank you for viewing my videos. Keep it going. I know I'm not really making much um, leverage here in America with my videos, but keep watching, man. Keep, like, keep, keep following the journey. I'm going to be around whenever I can. Any questions, put them in the comment. Any comments, put them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram channel, um, Rain My Slayer, uh, Rio's underscore official for updates on snapchat and etc etc guys stay safe rest in peace dmx where the dogs at um and have a good day guys i'm, I'm out peace